So, um, hi YouTube. Um, uh, my husband is gone. He's left for his army shenanigans, so I'll see him sometime next year. My house is an absolute disaster. Do you need to go pee-pee? Do you want to go pee-pee? Go. Um... My house is an absolute mess because he kind of like panic packed while getting ready to go. So I'm going to end up doing lots of chores and cleaning and I need to go grocery shopping because I literally don't have any food to eat because I wasn't comfortable. I felt guilty buying food when I knew that like he wasn't going to be here to eat it. it. just seemed like a cruel thing to do. So I think we're just going to go to Walmart because it is... Sunday and nothing is open this early or everything is closed because it's Sunday. So yeah, let's let's get some of that out of the way first. So I finished my grocery shopping. I really only got maybe enough for like two meals and then some junk essentially. But that's good enough to get me through this week. And then next week, I'll focus on actually, I guess, filling my pantry full of good stuff, I suppose. And then I got to do the dishes because I didn't want the man to do dishes before he left. And then I'll probably do laundry. I'm still washing some linens, but otherwise I've managed to do the bulk of my cleaning. I also, my husband took the fire stick for our TV. I do have a secondary fire stick, but it's an older one. So I went ahead and I switched things around. I got my switch hooked up to the TV, finally. Didn't have enough room before, but my husband took the PlayStation with him. So now I've got my switch attached to this TV. I'll be able to watch TV on this TV. And then I'm thinking back in my bedroom where I used to have this old fire stick attached. I think I'm gonna attach my old PlayStation back up to it just so I can still have like the streaming apps to it. While I was at Walmart as well, again, I don't usually shop at Walmart, I don't like to, but that was what was open at the time. I managed to get some ribbon. One of my scrub caps at work, the ribbon on it broke. So I got some replacement ribbon to, to see if I can fix it <laughs> rather. I also, so I was on the internet the other day. I purchased a bunch of scrub hats from Koi. These were all on sale for about a dollar. Well, they were really like a dollar ninety-seven, but a dollar. So I purchased a whole bunch of those. So now I have quite a few little scrub hats. This one's all Halloweeny. I don't know. I would never usually spend money on a Halloween cap, but I can't go wrong with a dollar. So those are scrub caps for work. I'm going to try and fix another scrub cap that I already have. And then in the same Halloween-y spirit, I'm kind of getting in the Halloween mood. I did pick this little cute little book up at Walmart. It looks cute. I've been doing a couple of little Halloween styled things recently and we'll get into that in just a minute. Oh, I do want to say too that while my husband is gone, I plan on keeping myself entertained with the Switch essentially. I have a backlog of Switch games. I'm currently playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom right now. And then after that, I think I'm going to do maybe Xenoblade 3. And then after that, Octopath Traveler 2. So I've got quite a bit to get through there. And then, like I said, I've got my old PlayStation. And I've never played Red Dead Redemption before. And we have Red Dead Redemption 2. So I might, if I have time, pick that up as well. Also, while I was at the store, I got brave and I stopped by the local Dollar General, which I'd never been to before. It's kind of in a bad side of town, but I managed to survive. But I saw this dude on TikTok. Thanks to the Disney 100 collection, they've been putting out lots of Simba merchandise. So I've been picking up Simba merchandise. But I stopped at another Dollar General not that long ago, and they didn't have him. So just while I was out... I went ahead and stopped and it did manage to have him. I saw him from the entrance. I was like, yes, I need him. He actually looks like Simba. He's pretty cute. So I got him and then I posted about this on Twitter. But Ulta also has a Disney 100 Simba fingernail polish. And I went to my local Ulta's to see if I could find this guy and I couldn't find him. But I got on the internet and that kind of takes the fun out of shopping for me but I ordered him on the internet 
And Ulta sent them to me quickly, but they sent them to me in the world's largest box that I'd ever seen. It was absolutely ridiculous. And then he's all screwed up. Like the sticker, the sticker's peeling off. It's got a bunch of fuzz underneath there and his face is all messed up. So Ulta was very nice. Within 24 hours, they sent me a better one. And there goes my laundry. My laundry's going off. And then also, while I was on the Ulta, they had these little makeup. Things. They had more. I just couldn't justify it, so I quit. Look how cute. The little Simba's in there. And then these ones are just little Simba. You can see them right there. Simba and Nala makeup brushes. Look how cute. Oh, I got one more Simba thing, too. Here he is. I've had this one for a couple of weeks now, but I found it at my local Disney store because we actually have a Disney store here. So that is one good thing about the area that I live in is we have a Disney store and he's got big old beans. He's heavy. He's about the size of my dog. He's wearing the hat, the scrub hat that I had made. But look at him. There's another Simba also that I am hoping that our Disney store gets, but I may get another plushie Simba if I can find him in real life. But yeah, look how cute he is. I also haven't done much art stuff since I did my stamps. Well, sort of. I've been playing around with making my own journals again. So I downloaded the Canva and I just wanted to see out of curiosity, because I know that you can make composition notebooks on Amazon. So I did a couple of like proof journals just to see how they looked like to see how they compared with the ones that I had made from other companies and I actually don't think that they're all that bad of quality I think they're pretty good I think this one's my favorite so yeah these are 120 pages I've been actually playing with Canva a lot and I've made quite a few little journals uh, again I was just curious I don't think I necessarily have the patience to open up and manage at my own shop. However, I do like stationary products and ever since I was a little girl, I always like wished that I could collect more and then having my own artwork on them has been kind of just like a dream. I do sometimes think about what it would be like if I opened up like a little uh, table at a local farmer's market because I don't see anybody selling any stationery anywhere. So I made these just to see, again, what the quality looks like, and I kind of like them. My only complaint with this one, I've had these done by other companies before. So this one is a little bitty hardbound cover, and this one was sent to me for free, actually. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but whatever. It was sent to me for free, and uh, look how cute it is. This one... I think I like the quality of this one the best. So if I was to do it again, if the price was okay, I think I'd see what the larger version of this one looks like on a larger notebook. Cause this one's really tiny. These ones are seven by nine. The Amazon one, I will say, I don't think the colors, I don't know. I think the colors are accurate. It's just not as detailed. Like it's kind of fuzzy and blurry compared to this one where you can see all of my watercolor strokes in there. However, I think these are actually kind of pricey, but just for Amazon alone, that's not too bad. This one came out the best. And then I had another company make one as well. These two I've had for a while. So this one, you can see who made it there. This one's fine too. I mean, they all are about the exact same quality, I think. So if anybody's curious to see what the Amazon ones look like, you can choose however many pages you want in there. But I think this is about the exact same quality as this. But this one, you have more free range to decorate like your spine. Whereas this one just has the brand name on the cover. I don't remember if I could choose sizes or not for these. I don't remember. But this one... Look how cute. So because this is a proof, it has this big old thing on it, but the actual one's from Amazon Shen. So I, I created a few other designs. I think since this is a perfectly good notebook and I'm not going to sell it anyway, what I think I'm going to do is one of my other goals for this year is, uh, well, it's just all going to be studying Spanish. I've been studying Spanish 
for a long time. But I think what I want to do, I have downloaded, and I've already been reading it, I finished the first Harry Potter book a long time ago in Spanish, and ignoring the Harry Potter controversy, it's a simple book to read if you're a learner. So, and it's a familiar story. It just makes it easier to read. So I read the first Harry Potter book. I have started the second Harry Potter book. I've just gotten distracted and haven't gotten very far. But I also, what I did, I downloaded a very popular Sarah J. Mass book, and I have been absolutely adamant that I am not stooping so low as to read a Sarah J. Mass book. But since I'm so curious because it's so popular, I think I'm going to try and do it in Spanish. We're going to try and do Sarah J. Mass. I 100% expect it to be way below my standards. I'm going to be doing something that I don't like or that I have low expectations, so I might as well study Spanish in the process. So I think every time I come across a word that I'm not familiar with or that I need more studying on because there's a few words I get confused between that are constantly I've noticed in stories. I'm going to write them down in my little journal here. So that's one of the things I'd like to accomplish within the next nine months. I think I'm going to try and do maybe like a chapter a day and then write down my struggle words in here. I did get one more thing on Prime Day, although this wasn't exactly on a Prime sale and I just forgot about it, was I got this Canson Graduate Mixed Media Paper. So it's like a, again, a tan color because I like tan colors, but this one's lighter. My only thing is, is I realized after it came in the mail in a giant box, I didn't read the specs on it because for some reason I was expecting it to be like an 8 by 9 or 8 by 10 rather, an 8 by 10 like paper pad or like nine by 11 or something and it's not this thing is a3 and it's huge corgi for scale so i didn't mean to do that i've been using the strathmore mixed media paper i've used Hanamule mixed media paper all in the tan color and then I, of course i saw the canson one so i was like we've got to try canson just to see what it's like but this paper is gigantic and I'm not used to drawing that large, so I don't really know what I'm going to draw on there at the moment. And also, loose leaf paper is not my favorite, but I just wanted to compare and contrast. Oh, I've also tried... So here, here's some of my tan paper. So I've got the Strathmore Mixed Media, which is what I did my last sketchbook, my art journal in, was on the... Uh, tone tan mixed media Strathmore paper but it was in the journal form but I do have the loose leaf paper as well and then I have the paint on this is the Claire Fontaine paper oh I actually did some stuff in there surprise okay so I just wanted to compare and contrast because I haven't used Canson I mean I've used it in their regular white sketchbook paper but not this mixed media paper so I want to see how that does with gouache I think there's maybe one more brand of tone tan paper that I haven't used but this is what I've collected so far I may do just one big like comparison video maybe I'll go out and purchase some more <laughs> tone tan mixed media paper and I'll just compare them all together but this is just to again I just want to see what it looks like but that's all that I've done for now right girl so yeah uh, once I get settled into a new habit and routine because I get it's it's weird going from having a spouse to not having a spouse and you have to readjust your life especially when you work and you have a dog and I'm sure if you have kids it's a lot to adjust and you're just trying to figure out a new routine and schedule everything feels wrong and of course I get hungry <laughs> trying to figure out my husband does most of the cooking so I'm gonna get so hungry I just don't like making things so but we'll see we'll see what my art looks like in the near future see what life looks like in the near future but that's all that I have going on for right now um you guys peace out I'll see you guys again the next time bye bye